What's going on, Charles Botenston here. We are doing our final video right now. All right, so this is gonna be a question. If you guys have any questions, I could be answering it as a video or I could do it on live stream, whatever the case is. So this one comes in, he says, one of your biggest inspirations to me is how you wake up every single day or wake up early every single day. I find that when I try to wake up before six, it's awesome, but sometimes comes with a price of basically feeling a bit tired, heaviness and overhang all day. So in other words, what he's saying is that, which could be the case, you know, and I'll get into my answer. I'm curious, does this happen to you? In other words, when I wake up early, because I wake up at 4.54, 4.55, I should say, between that, you know, sometimes it's 10 minutes later or 10 minutes earlier, it depends. But that's usually before five o'clock, all right? So just to literally say that I do that. And it's, a, and I'll tell you the benefits. He says, I'm curious if this happens to you. In other words, do I feel groggy? but you keep up with it because the benefits outweigh the cost. That's true. The benefits outweigh the cost. Or do you feel in alert and awake most of the day because your focus, physiology, and health habits? Okay. So that last sentence was saying, am I doing it because I know that it's better for me? Or am I doing it because of my health and focus and, and physiology, which is essentially the energy and, and health, blah, blah, blah. All right, so there's a lot of aspects to this. Number one is I'm not going to talk about how to actually wake up before 5 a.m. because I've talked about that many times, all right? But what we're gonna be talking about is the one critical part that you brought up is the cost, cost of waking up early and not waking up early, okay? And then you weigh it out and you say, when I wake up early, how do I feel? Okay, there's an overhang, I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. There's not, there's plenty of times that, so there's three accountabilities, okay? First of all, I'm tired plenty of times when I wake up, okay? I'm not waking up like clicking my heels like an Irish leprechaun that I am. I'm waking up sometimes groggy, sometimes I'm hungover, sometimes I didn't eat good, like a good meal or it's too late or I had coffee at 1 p.m. and that kind of put me in a later time schedule of falling asleep. Whatever the case is, okay? I'm not perfect, okay? Jocko Willick, he wakes up at 4.30 or 4.23, but the cost of staying in bed way outweighs it mentally, mentally outweighs it, business-wise, and I'll talk about all the other things. But when I stay in bed, I feel lazy. I feel like I didn't have a win for the day. I feel that I let myself down. I feel disappointed because this is who I am and I'm not living up to my identity. It's like, say you are a football player and someone walks up to you, they're like, hey, I know you, you play soccer. He's like, no, 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 I play football. He goes, no, 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 you're that soccer guy. He goes. No, I play football. Haha, <laughs> that's really funny. No, but I've seen you on the pitch. You play soccer. The identity you are tied to is not waking up at 6 a.m. So the reason that you feel tired is because you there there is no, you don't see the the benefit. Okay. So number one is you need accountability. Okay, my accountability of waking up is that I take a picture of it of my watch and post it as an Instagram story. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram, you'll see what time I wake up every single day. Number one is accountability to obviously you guys, which is social media. Number two is the accountability of actually going to the gym and I tag people in the gym. So they see me waking up early and I'm going there. Number three is I heard this, which was amazing. It was from Ryan Serhant, number one. And number two was, um, uh, I forgot his name. He was on Grant Cardone's show. Uh, great guy, Ed Millett, and I just started getting into his stuff. He's a great guy. He's a great role model for young men. Highly recommend you, you check him out. Ed, M-Y-L-E-T-T. -T. I think that's how you spell his name. But he brought it up and he said that if he does something that no one else is doing, he feels better because he knows no one else is doing it. That's the confidence. That's the confidence. When Michael Jordan shows up before practice and he stays after practice, he knows I'm doing something that no one else is doing. When I wake up and I'm biking to the gym and it's 19 degrees out and I can barely feel my toes and my, my hands as I bike to the gym, I know no one else is doing this. And that gives me the confidence because when I show up at the gym, people are taking a cab or they're walking, which is fine. I like that they're going to the gym, but I'm a little step ahead because I woke up early and I bike to the gym and I'm going to the gym. So you start laying, layering these successes, uh, there's more of an emotional rather than tired. There's more of an emotional cost to your, your reputation if, if I don't wake up and take a photo and have a, a motivational speech. So to your question, 
is I don't even think of not waking up. Yeah, it goes through my mind of I'm tired, I'm hungover, I didn't get a good night's sleep, I don't wanna attack today, whatever the case is. But then I look at that and I say, okay, what's the bigger picture? Where am I looking to go, all right? And then we'll, we'll leave it right here, which is you said, uh, of course, I, I sometimes feel heavy, but when I go to the gym, you actually, uh, chemicals are released. I, I, uh, I think it's uh, serotonin or oxytocin. One of those, I think it's serotonin, is released when you leave the gym. And it says, we should do that more. So serotonin is released in your body that says, yeah, doing this is good for you. You should keep on doing this. That's why it's released, you know? So when you wake up and you start doing that consistently, it's gonna suck. Suck a lot. Really, like, you just got laid off from your job. It's gonna feel heavy and down, but if you keep at it, I'm telling you right now, that's, that's the basics to uh, living, living a, a high-performance life because there's no one that you know that doesn't wake up early. Look at any CEO, they're, they're up at 5, 6 a.m. When I'm getting to the gym, there's people leaving the gym, going to their job, and they're, they're in their 50s and 60s, all right? So they're, they're not fucking around, all right? Have an awesome day. Talk to you guys soon. Leave your comments below about any other questions you have to waking up because to be honest, I have it pretty much in a, in a really good sequence right now on how I go to bed. I don't have the iPad, iPhone, computer around me. I have my light, it's dim to orange, so my, my eye sees orange. I have my phone on airplane mode. I have the, the blue blocking glasses, which is orange specs kind of thing. So highly recommend you go do any of that to wake up early and then when you wake up early and, and you do what I do, you're exhausted by the end of the day. You just wanna pass out. So leave your comments below, subscribe to the video, 